I'm Sergey Shelkov, sales executive here at Depom. Right now, many brands are bringing some business processes in-house, which requires not only hiring staff, but also building your own software. As a company focused on white label products, we want to clarify what white labeling means, the overall benefits of white labeling, who needs it, and is that better than development from scratch? Let's find out. What is white labeling in software? Let's start with a simple analogy. A sewing factory makes a shirt. This shirt comes without a tag and its price is not far away from its prime cost. But it's still a shirt, you can wear it like any other. Then some brands can buy shirts, put a fancy print on them and sell them for 10 times more. But it took a lot less time to make it as they haven't sewn the shirts themselves. The concept of white label software is similar. It's a ready-made tool that can be fully rebranded for any company's needs. Developers that build such software resell their solutions to other industry players and make profits this way. White labeling versus development from scratch. How cost-effective is this solution? And how is it possible to personalize such a product? Those are major concerns of our clients I'll address right now. Let's calculate the time and money investment in building enterprise-level software from scratch. Taking a demand-side platform as an example, technology investments may comprise up to two and a half million dollars per year. This sum includes engineering team salaries, infrastructure, and development costs. I say per year as you need constant updates and maintenance, otherwise your software won't be able to keep up with evolving technology. Time investment is limitless. It may take a good couple of years to develop such a tool with an engineering team of three to six people. How many businesses are actually ready for that? Some enterprises with revenues of hundreds of millions are. The benefits of development from scratch are obvious. You design custom and branded software perfectly fitted for your business. Still, not all companies make hundreds or even dozens of millions, and many would like to have their own solution to bring some processes in-house. That's where white labeling comes into play. It allows you to buy a ready platform paying several thousand instead of millions. For example, EPOM DSP costs $2,000 per month, and at this price, you get a platform with limitless access to its features, data, and analytics. You can rebrand the platform as your own and create accounts for your own clients. And the best part is that maintenance and custom feature development costs are already included in that price. White labeling versus software as a service, software software. White label software is quite expensive compared to regular software as a service. Little wonder, here you pay for limited use of the platform when white labeling means you pay for the platform ownership and go far beyond a sole use. So here's what white labeling means for your business compared to self-serve solutions. You have all features at hand, not just the ones included in your plan. You can change UI as you wish according to your branding needs. You can start a new revenue stream offering new services to your clients. You get access to all data flowing through your platform in some cases, you can request custom feature development for no extra fee. White label software in digital advertising. White labeling is quite widespread in digital advertising as the development of ad tech products is one of the most complex and as a result, most expensive and time consuming. You can't build an ad server in a week. This is what it hurts the most. So for many large advertisers, publishers and ad networks, it's easier to buy a white label platform rather than build one by themselves. The moment you consider to take advantage of white labeling, I will take my words back. You indeed can build an ad server in a week. What is a white label ad server? An ad server is a web server that hosts information about ads and delivers advertising content to different digital platforms, websites, and mobile apps. Just like a web server stores all data about your website and shows relevant pages to the end user, the ad server places ads in the right place and shows them to the right audience. A white label ad server means that you're in control of every process happening in here, be it ad serving, inventory management, or new user creation. You become not just an advertiser or publisher, but the network manager who can do whatever they want with its innards and outwards. What is a white label DSP? A demand side platform is an RTB based software used to buy ad inventory from multiple supply partners automatically. Unlike a self service DSP, a white label solution can be connected to custom SSPs. You'll always be in charge of where your traffic comes from and get all the data transmitted from publishers. 
you can abandon the rest of the Salesforce DSPs and unite all your activity in a single account. Using several platforms, you end up competing with your own bids and therefore forfeit the auction. This is no longer the case with the white label DSP platform. You can connect as many SSPs and ad exchanges as you want and enjoy the greatest traffic diversity ever. Summing up, here are the benefits of white labeling. Full platform ownership, full access to data and platform features, no money, time, and energy spent on development, freedom of branding and your own client management, possibility of custom feature development at no fee. Interested in how it works at Epom? Sign up by the link below and I will personally tell you more about our white label ad tech products. If you find this video useful, like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Good luck!